You know, there, there, there's, a, there's a complex, but I think a very uh, genuine, caring person sort of behind all this. I first met Mr. Murdoch 20 years ago. I was involved in the uh, development or marshalling of the property for the Cottle Creek Reservoir. Once we uh, completed that, we actually had some other discussions about some other projects and things, and kind of got to know him fairly well, but when he, when he sold Cannon to Fieldcrest, that's when he first got into what was then Castle and Cook, Dole. And he was looking to move some plants uh, to the East Coast for, for his processing operation. The Dole plant was a huge investment in our community. They've invested more than $60 million. They have currently over 600 employees in the manufacture of bag salads, typically sold in grocery stores. It's been a great addition to the community. Um, in the tough economic times, most employers, especially manufacturers, have had to cut back. They're one of the few manufacturers you'll find that's actually still doing as well as they were, and they've actually met and exceeded all the expectations that we had. Dole's been a great corporate citizen. They participated as a significant investor in our private economic development efforts. They've worked to help us recruit new companies to the area, and they've been a participant in the chamber. So they jumped right in, not only their investment in their employees, but they've also given their time and, and energy to the uh, community. I think uh, the corporate citizenship is a reflection of Mr. Murdoch and Castle and Cook and what they've done not only in our county but certainly in the state. They've brought obviously a lot of attention and investment to North Carolina and uh, I think it's a reflection on Mr. Murdoch. He came to visit the site to make sure that it would work and was involved in part of the site selection process. And I think his interest in North Carolina is carried through in many ways including of the support of our organization and of things in the community. Mr. Murdoch has been involved in trying to have more products grown locally, carrots, cabbage, lettuce, that can be sent to the facility. And I think his personal efforts have had a big impact on agriculture in North Carolina. It presents a selling opportunity that North Carolina really hadn't seen before. And we hope that in the future, as people eat more dole salads, they'll expand the facility, because there is ample room to do it, and there are some plans, long-range plans, to expand the facility. I mean, healthy eating is truly his interest. Uh, Agriculture-related biotech, which was his interest, fit that mold perfectly. You know, he has this tendency, he'll just sit down with Lynn or somebody else and say, okay, let's, let's dream a little bit. I still remember the day that uh, Mr. Murdoch came to my office. Uh, before that, I heard by the grapevine that he's trying to do a big visionary project in North Carolina. So. When he came and told me about his vision, I was immediately taken. There's so much talk in this current administration about health care reform. I think we need transformation. And transformation starts with innovation. New ideas, new way of doing things, new disruptive innovation that can change the way altogether we do medicine. So I think what's exciting about Mr. Murdoch is his vision. It's not the equipment. It's not the space, it's the fact that you can actually bring people together and with the right kind of resource and environment, we can do something good for society. When we realized that we'd have this magnificent core laboratory in which we could do our one-off experiments here, um, it just became a natural fit for us to build our facility near this campus, near this laboratory in particular. And also the collaborations with Duke University and the UNC University systems, it was just a perfect fit for what we needed to do. Having anchor facilities like this just make our, you know, validates our decision of why we're in this state. It, uh, not only will we grow the people that we have working in this part of the state, but it will allow us to have a research hub and the storage facility here. So we, as the campus grows, our role here will grow. Community colleges are a fantastic place for us to find laboratory technicians and the program that's going on with the Rowan Cabarrus Community College to train people in biotechnology will be an ideal place for us to find candidates to work uh, at our facilities. The, the issue is transition and 
taking advantage of what's there and moving forward in some rational, reasonable way that uses the abilities or the potential abilities of the folks who are there. A loom fixer has a lot of technical ability. It's a matter of transitioning that to a new skill. He sees the potential here to follow his dream. And a lot of people here who can engage in that dream. And uh, he had always talked so affectionately about his house he's had here for 30 years and about how wonderful the people were here. And so when he heard about the, uh, the layoff um, and the closing of the mill, um, he was anxious to find something to do. And uh, who knew it would be this grand, but uh, we're just happy to be a part of it. I want to congratulate Mr. Murdoch for getting this award. I think he richly deserves all the accolades, but he's been such an inspiring figure for everybody, so I think this award is well deserved. Congratulations to the Charlotte Regional Partnership 2009 Private Sector Jerry Award recipient, David H. Murdoch.